And a lot of people ask me, what are the best gel balls out there? What are the best gel beads I can buy? Uh, and there's a couple. There's no really high-performance ones on Amazon. There's a couple semi-hardened ones that are good. But if you're looking for the best possible, the Ultra Elite here from Oz Gel are the way to go. So these are definitely hardened, not just semi-hardened. But this is going to be for performance blasters only. You're not going to get any benefit uh, with the lower-end top-loading blasters, that kind of stuff. They just don't have the power to shoot these. And in fact, it'll probably, uh, they'll probably perform worse, okay? So we're talking 200 FPS or higher with these ultra elites. These are on the website geltactical.com. So again, go to geltactical.com. I put the link below. Uh, they're a US-based website out of Houston. And if they show something in stock, that means it's in country and ready to ship to you. So it'll get to you in a reasonable amount of time. Um, so this is what we got here, Oz Gel. As most of you know, Gel ball blasters are super popular in Australia. So that's where these are made. That's where the name comes from. And that's where they've been using these, you know, uh, for years. And they have much more powerful um, blasters than we do here in the United States because they're much more serious about it since they can't have airsoft and they can't have real guns. And so they just really trick out their gel blasters. So anyway, we'll go ahead and I'm going to, you know, just pour some in here. And I tell you the important thing with the gel balls and gel beads when you're soaking them is that they need plenty of time, plenty of room to grow, and plenty of water. So I use these type of little containers. They're reusable. I have lids, right, so I can put the lid on them because once you soak them, they'll last for about two weeks if you keep them in an airtight container without before they start to degrade. So you can see how much I put in here, and I'll be honest, that might even be too much. Sometimes I'll come back to these after the time, after the four hours, and I'll realize there's no water left at all and the container's completely full. So if there's no room left, they can't keep growing. And so even though you don't have any water, you think they're done growing. Well, it, if there's no room in the container and there's no water left over, you did not do it right because there's no way you guessed perfect on both of those things. So I always say, you want some water left over and you definitely want room in the container left over. Then you know for sure they made it to seven to eight millimeters, okay? So then what I'll do is I'll just drain off that extra water and through a strainer and store the gel balls for, like I said, up to about two weeks in a container like this. Also a good thing about using lidded con a container like this that has a lid is if you did put way too many beads in and they kept growing and growing and growing. They would spill out over the top of the container too. So it's just a, a good idea to use lids. And then, like I said, make sure there's room and water left over after four to six hours. So these are the Oz Gel Ultra Elite. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these to shoot. I'll shoot them in like um, my Lahui Chris Vector and maybe like the Silverback M4 that I got from Gel Tactical. And you guys can see what kind of performance. We may see some increase in FPS. In theory, you should see some. It's, it might be nominal, but then of course these should actually hurt a little more when you get shot by them too. So whether that's what you're looking for or not, I don't know. But anyway, check back for that demo video. And again, it's the Ultra Elite Hardened Gel Balls from OzGel. You can get them on geltactical.com. I'm gonna shoot some of these Ultra Elite Extreme Hardened Gel Balls from OzGel. These are from geltactical.com and Ozgel, I've talked about before, a great uh, brand from Australia. And these are their extremely hardened gel balls. So these would be great if you have a blaster that shoots 200 FPS or more. All right, so we got the Chris Vector here. I just did some changes to it with extra rail on it. You can prime the magazine, which is nice. Got that all primed up. We'll shoot it a little bit and we'll test the FPS. We'll see if we get any higher FPS or not too. So target's about 40 feet out. And of course it's hitting that no problem straight on. If we start arcing, we're talking about, you know, 100 feet, no issues. So let's test the FPS here. I was gonna make sure I know where the barrel is on this. So at about 250, uh, which is where it should be. So that's cool. So again, Chris Vector, we got the, but we got the Oz Gel Ultra Elite Extremely Hardened Gel Balls here. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot these in another blaster as well and show you that. So another demo here with the Oz Gel Ultra Elite Extremely Hardened Gel Balls, again from geltactical.com. 
This is Oz Gel's kind of best or most highest performance gel bead gel ball. So great if you got blasters that are 200 FPS or higher. This is my new favorite blaster. I'd say it's the best blaster on Amazon right now. Best one I've ever seen on Amazon ever. So hopefully it sticks around. It's an M4 um, COB or M4 Cobb from Noxu, N-O-X-E-W. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and shoot it. Got the drum magazine. This is the M4A1 drum magazine. It does work with this fine. We got those Osgel extremely hardened balls in here. Let's shoot it a little bit, and then let's test the FPS on it. So the target out there is about 40 feet. And of course, it's hitting that with no issue. And I'm nailing it. You can see it bouncing all over probably. Let's look where we're at on the FPS. Actually, I'd say it is shooting a little better with this. Um, it was 260 and higher on everything. Uh, so that's definitely cool to see a little bit better performance as well. So again, we got the um, Ozgel Extremely Hardened Gel Beads here. Check them out on geltactical.com. They've got some other really cool blasters too. Um, and then, you know, check out those Ozgel Gel Beads on there. So definitely a good high performance one. And they also make some other ones and make some glow-in-the-dark ones too.